something about food safety issues in New Zealand. Foodborne pathogens is a huge risk to mankind health. It includes bacterial, viruses, and parasites. Chemical damages and a physical pollutant in food are both crucial health risks, but most of the damages can be solved if given suitable precaution under producing and allocating. Even though it is absolutely hard to hold risks in New Zealand, which are not only expensive but also the rate of occur is high, and at the same time with huge risks of death. But the physical pollutant also cannot be overlooked, while well, chemical risks beginning from food is definitely a uh, great challenge for New Zealand. In order to solve this problem, NZFSA is a great scheme. The aim of NZFSA is to reduce risks in effective ways, which including the first one is decreasing the harmful classes in chicken meat constantly. The second one is reducing the damage of harmful things to industry pass workshops. The last one is educating the consumers how to deal with food charity. Meanwhile, NZFSA introduced a document which stipulates the maximum level for harmful substance in foods could serve for people and also stipulate the duty for producer. In the end, it is really difficult to make a perfect outline for the food safety in spite of NZFSA has given out related laws to stop the microbial, chemical and physical risks to assurance New Zealanders consume rights. Even though NZFSA is possible to maximum avoid the risks of food, but there are still many definitions need to make up until perfect. Thank you for listening. Here is my reference. Thank you.